Who got Kevin Durant on the show? Is that you, David? <laughs> yeah, because well, we hang out a lot. Yeah, that's, so I don't know. I was like, could, you know, next time you swing by, can you can you drop uh, who in? Got, who got Durant? I actually don't remember how how that came to be. Yeah, we're, we, we're, we word, reached out. Yeah. We got word that he liked he the show. He was a fan. Uh huh. Oh yeah, he stopped by the season. He stopped by the writers' room the season before to hang out. Durant with his yeah. manager. Yeah, because he like Rich Kleiman reached out to me is what yeah. happened. And that's, that's his and agent. And then Rich Kleiman mm -hmm. reached out to me, uh -huh. and um, we were done shooting that season. And so we said, come by. Sometimes we just got this the other day from uh, a notable person who wanted to be on the show, and we said, and this is this is the way it happens. You know, for something like that, a KD thing, we said we could write something, but it'd be better if we spent an hour with Kevin, actually got a little bit of his ah. point of view. Oh, okay. No, it works. Yeah. Because okay. when you as spend a writer, not time just with him as a, as a writer, you know, as a not writer. Not just as a, as a fan. fan. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No. It's like as yeah. a writer, you then can, like, figure out, like, well, this is kind of how we could use the person. So then he was able to tell us stories about people asking a certain kind of favor, and then we were mm -hmm. able to, like... Blow that in for when yeah, he I guess, came on the what show. What was it where he he gave away uh, something for a bar mitzvah or something? He does like a that? bar mitzvah message for Krakow, the Secretary of the Treasury, in exchange, in exchange for getting for money big, for his charity for a big charity yes. thing. Yeah, did he really do that for a secretary? He said of the, the bar mitzvah thing happens all the time. Yeah, I'm not sure, sure if it was for Mnuchin, but it was okay. for somebody somebody with the money to pay for it. Or, or yeah, I think, in fact, definitely not for the Secretary yeah. of the Treasury. It's probably for Todd Fritz, you know, on the Dan Patrick yeah, right, show. I'm sure right. he does that for everybody. <laughs> uh, so Durant, I saw Steve Tisch, owner of the Giants. It was, was, uh, a, was yeah, a, Steve Tisch was on, and Jonathan Tisch was on, at, both of them. Okay. At different times. That's right. Yeah. Um, the Tisch brothers have been on. Yeah, we were happy to write for Steve Tisch. That was really fun. I mean, that was great because Steve was able to let us have Giant Stadium and the logo of the Giants in the background, and it really... That was, you know, early on in the show, second season, and that was great because, I mean, don't you think it lent super amount of credibility to the idea of Axe buying the team? Yep. And, uh, you know, there was a great moment that really gives you the billionaire headspace where Axe says, you know, which are the best seats in here? And he goes, like, you can have any one, but you're not getting mine. That's <laughs> and, you know, that was an ad lib, and he just, that billionaire thing flared up in the moment. Steve Tisch? Yeah, like yeah. he forgot ad for a lib. second that somebody wasn't really buying his team. And Owner of the Giants, stay away from my team, even though you're a fictional character. That's fantastic. <laughs> that's exactly right. Brian exactly. Koppelman, David Levine here on The Rich Eisen Show. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.